Hi guys, welcome to Royal Logos. It's my pleasure to have you here and I really hope that you all are doing well. In today's tutorial, I will demonstrate you that how can you design a logo from very start to the finish by using a real life example. You can follow this tutorial even if you are an absolute beginner because I will elaborate each and every step in a well-mannered way. For the purpose of ease, I have divided this tutorial in 7 steps. In step 1, we will go through the client brief. In step 2, we will extract the major points from the given brief. And in step 3, we will draw rough sketches on a paper. And in the fourth step, we will finalize one or two sketches. In the fifth step, we will convert our sketch into vector by using any of the vector based graphic design software like Adobe Illustrator, Corel Draw, or Inkscape. In the sixth step, we will assign colors to our logo to enhance its visual impact. And finally, in the seventh step, we will make a presentation for the client. Now let's continue with the part one of the tutorial, which is going through the client brief. Here we have a brief from Elva Aaron. He is going to set up his new business of boating, especially for the tourists. You can view this brief. I have highlighted the major points which are important to use in designing the logo. Let's continue with the step two of this tutorial, in which we extract major points from the brief. The first one is the name of the logo, which is Elva Boating. Elva Aaron wants the logo to be as minimal as possible, and he also added that the logo must include a boat. About the colors, he recommends the bluish watercolor, and he wants that the logo text should be written in uppercase. The name of the logo is Elva Boating. For the boating, we will definitely use a boat shape in the logo, but for the Elva. We will try to extract the initial letter A. So our task is to design a logo which is the combination of two elements. The initial letter A from the Elva and boat from the boating. Now let's continue with the part 3 of this tutorial which is sketching. For the sketching you don't need any special sketchbooks or tools. Just look at the tools that I will use in the sketching. These are the most simple ones. Because tools doesn't matter. It's your skill that really matters. And also, you don't have to be an expert in sketching at all, as we are drawing rough sketches and you can see later that my sketching skills are even below average. Now let's continue with the sketching process. By keeping in mind the boat, I will design both motorboats and sailboats. This one seems much better and minimal to me. And I really like this design as it includes all the required qualities. This represents the initial letter A for Alva and also represents the boat. And also it's a very minimal logo. Let's start with another design. Now let's continue with the part 4 of the tutorial in which we will finalize one or two sketches. These two are my favorites as they include all the required qualities. Let's draw a clean copy of these sketches. As I have already told you that this represents the letter A. And this represents the boat. Now we have two sketches ready. These sketches are the combination of two elements, letter A and the boat. Now let's continue with the part 5 of this tutorial in which we will convert these sketches into the vector logo by using any of the vector based graphic design software like Adobe Illustrator, Inkscape and Coral Draw. 
it doesn't matter that which software you are using because in this tutorial I will use simple tools like pen tool, circle tool and rectangle tool which are available in each and every software. Here I will use Inkscape but if you are using Adobe Illustrator you can also follow this tutorial quite easily as I will also show you the side screens that how to perform that specific task in Adobe Illustrator. Inkscape is quite a powerful tool and is much easier to use. Now let's continue with the design process in Inkscape. So first of all go to view and select it to wide. Again go to view, go to show and hide and make sure that all of the options are turned on. Now go to file, select the document properties, select the display units to pixels and custom units to pixels. Change the width to 1280 and hide to 720 pixels like this. Now here this is our command bar and at the end of command bar you will see a small arrow. Left click on it and select align and distribute menu. Again left click and select fill and stroke menu. For the Adobe Illustrator align and distribute menu can be found by going to windows and select align and stroke menu is already available at the top by default. Now select zoom to fit to page. Now took a picture from the mobile from the images that we have drawn and import it in your software like this. Now go to fill and stroke menu and reduce the opacity to almost 50% like this. In Adobe Illustrator you can reduce the opacity by going to windows and select transparency and at the right side you will see this transparency option. Now select the pen tool and draw a horizontal line as a reference like this. Change the color of the line to this red color so that we can easily differentiate between the parts. This line is very thinner so go to fill and stroke menu and in stroke style set the units to pixels and set the stroke width to 3 pixels like this and draw a vertical line that is almost at the center of the shape like this. Now change the color of this line to this red color and also set its width to 3 pixels like this. Now select this line, right click, duplicate it and drag it vertically like this. In Adobe Illustrator there is no option for duplicate. So what you have to do, select the line, go to edit and select copy. Again go to edit and select paste. Now in Inkscape again right click, duplicate it and drag it vertically up to this point like this. Now select the pen tool, draw an inclined line from this point to this point like this. Also change the color of the line to this red color by clicking on this red color while holding down the shift key and select the width of the line to 3 pixels like this. Now again right click, duplicate this line and place this at this point. Now select all of these lines, go to path and select combine. In Adobe Illustrator you can perform the same operation by going to windows, select pathfinder and select merge. Now I will turn on the snapping and in the snapping I will turn on the intersection snap. These snaps are working by default in Adobe Illustrator so you have no need to do anything. Now select the pen tool and draw a line from this intersection point to this intersection point continue to this intersection up to this one and close the shape at this point. Now we doesn't need the stroke so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon while holding down the shift key like this and give it a solid color like this black color. Now also turn on this snap to paths like this. Now continue from this intersection point at this path up to this path and at this intersection point and up to this point and now again give it some solid color like this black color and cancel the stroke by clicking on this cross icon while holding down the shift key like this. Now select these lines at the bottom and press delete on the keyboard. Select this shape and this shape go to path and select union. In Adobe Illustrator you can perform the same operation by going to windows select pathfinder and select unite. Now right click duplicate this and flip it vertically like this and drag it up to this point. Now drag it up to here, turn on this rectangle snap and drag the body up to this point like this. Now in Adobe Illustrator you can perform the same operation by going to object, select transform, select reflect, click on vertical and press ok. 
Now select both of these parts, go to path and select union. Again in Adobe Illustrator, in the pathfinder you can select unite. Now we are almost done with one of the design. Now decrease its dimensions like this. Select the circle tool and draw a circle like this. Now we doesn't need the fill so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon and give it some stroke color by clicking on this black color while holding down the shift key. Now select both of these parts, go to align and distribute menu and select align and select center on vertical axis. In Adobe Illustrator you can perform the same operation by going to windows, select align and horizontal align and select vertical align. Now select this circle, go to fill and stroke menu and increase its stroke width to say 20 pixels like this and increase its opacity to 100%, go to path and select stroke to path. In Adobe Illustrator you can perform the same operation by going to object, select path and outline stroke. Now again select both of these shapes, go to path and select union. Now it's time to design this concept. Again select the pen tool and draw a horizontal line like this. Increase the stroke width of the line to 3 pixels like this and drag it up to this point. Select Z on the keyboard both for the Inkscape and Adobe Illustrator and drag the mouse over this shape like this. Now again right click duplicate this line and drag it at this point. And in Adobe Illustrator you can perform the operation by simply going to edit, copy and edit paste. Now select both of these lines by holding down the shift key. Again right click, duplicate it and drag it vertically up to this point like this. Now select the circle tool and draw a circle while holding down the control and shift key in Inkscape in, and you can perform the same operation in Adobe Illustrator while holding down the alt and shift key. Now increase the dimensions of the circle up to this point. Now select this snap to quadrant for Inkscape users. For Adobe Illustrator this option is working by default. Now right click duplicate this circle and reduce its dimensions while holding down the control and shift key. Up to this quadrant Adobe Illustrator you can reduce the dimensions while holding down alt and shift key like this. Now select both of these lines by holding down the shift key. Right click duplicate them and drag them vertically upward up to this point like this. Again right click, duplicate them and drag them here, go to path and select combine. You can perform this operation in Adobe Illustrator by going to windows, pathfinder and select merge. Now rotate these lines up to this point like here, right click, duplicate this and flip it horizontally like this. You can perform the same operation in Adobe Illustrator by going to object, select transform, select reflect, select vertical and press ok. Now again select the pen tool and draw a line from this quadrant to this quadrant. Now select Z on the keyboard and zoom in this area by dragging mouse over it and drag this line up to this intersection point like this. Now again zoom out to page. Now we have to convert these lines into this shape. If you are an Adobe Illustrator user then you can easily do this while using down the shape builder tool. But in Inkscape this tool is not supported. So we have to use an alternate trick. So first of all select all of these lines, go to path and select combine. Now select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle in such a way that it covers the whole body like this and place it behind our main object. Now select both of these parts. Go to path and select division. Now you can delete unwanted parts by selecting the part with the left click of mouse and pressing delete on the keyboard. Now press Z on the keyboard and zoom in this area and delete all the unwanted parts. Now we are almost done with our second design. Now select all of these parts, go to path and select union. Now we doesn't need the stroke so we will cancel it by clicking on this cross icon while holding down the shift key. Now it's time to write the name of our logo. Select the text tool and write the name in uppercase which is Elva Boating. Change the font to TW, send empty and select the dimensions to bold dimensions. Now select our text and increase the space between the alphabets to 5. Now go to path and select object to path 
right click and select ungroup in adobe illustrator you can perform the same operation by going to type and select create outline now press z on the keyboard and zoom in this text select the pen tool and draw a line from this point to this corner to this corner to this point give it some solid color like this red color and now select both of these shapes while holding down the shift key on the keyboard go to path and select difference you can perform the same operation in adobe illustrator by selecting both of the parts then go to windows select pathfinder and minus front now again select the pen tool and also do the same operation for this a also give it some solid color select both of the parts go to path and select difference again select the pen tool and here for this one again select both of the parts go to path and select difference we have performed this operation so that this a of our text can match with this a of our logo now select all of these parts go to path and select combine and now align them here now select both of these parts go to align and distribute menu and select on center on vertical axis in adobe illustrator you can perform the same operation by going to windows select align and select vertical align center now also reduce the dimensions of this circle while holding down the control key in inkscape and shift key in adobe illustrator right click duplicate this and copy our text here now we can delete this reference image reduce the dimensions like this and also for this one like this now we have two designs ready for our client now let's move towards the part 6 of our tutorial which is how to assign colors to our logo many people feel difficulty in assigning the color combination to their logo and if you are facing such a difficulty then don't worry i will guide you out of this first of all go to color.adobe.com simply click on explore and write the text water and here you can see a number of combinations of color related to water select any of these color combinations and here you can see the color codes simply left click on the color code and copy it and now you can use it anywhere in your projects now i have selected these two colors for our logo you can easily identify the colors from the color codes now select this logo select the eyedropper tool and give it this color select the text select eyedropper tool and give it this dark blue color and also for this one select this color or and for the text select this color now we are almost done with our logo we have to present the logo in such a way that you got no chance or a very little chance for a critic for that purpose we have to design a presentation for the client now to make a presentation we have to increase the dimensions of this page in inkscape but in adobe illustrator you can use or open another tab so go to file select document properties and select the height to 2000 pixels like this and zoom out to the whole page place them here now select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this duplicate this and place it here we will change its color so that we can differentiate between the parts and increase its dimensions up to this point again select this one right click duplicate it and drag it up to this point change its color to this green color just for the purpose of differentiation and copy our colors up to these points like this this part and give it some very light gray color also select this part go to eyedropper tool and select this color for this one first we have to divide it into four parts first select the pen tool and draw a line like this right click duplicate this line and rotate it to 90 degrees like this now select both of these lines go to fill and stroke menu and increase the stroke width to say 3 pixels like this then go to path and select combine in illustrator you can select simply merge now select both of these parts go to align and distribute menu and select center on vertical axis and horizontal axis in adobe illustrator you can perform the same operation by going to windows select align and horizontal align center and vertical align center then while selecting both of the parts go to path and select division in adobe illustrator you can perform the same task by going to windows select pathfinder and select divide now select both of these parts go to path and select union you can unite these parts 
select this part assign this light blue color and for this part assign this color now we will import an image this image is freely available for personal and commercial use I will provide the download link in the description now decrease the dimensions of the image up to this point go to fill and stroke menu and reduce its opacity to almost 50% and place it at this point then place it at the bottom of this rectangle now select this rectangle and this part right click and select set clip in illustrator you can perform the same operation by selecting both of the parts right click and set clipping mask now increase the opacity to 100% like this again select the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle from this corner to this corner and reduce its opacity to almost 60% like this now select the logo and drag it here and place it on the top like this now only select this logo right click duplicate this and place it here and change its color to white color increase the dimensions up to this point like this again right click duplicate it and drag it at this point and reduce the dimensions like this right click duplicate this and drag it vertically downward up to this point now again select this one right click duplicate it and drag it at this point again right click duplicate it and drag it up to this point like this now press z on the keyboard and zoom in this area by dragging mouse over it especially this one select the pen tool and start drawing this letter a to this point this point and this point now cancel the stroke by clicking on this cross icon while holding down the shift key and also assign this part this blue color now select this circle and give it this gray color like this because we want to represent this a in this shape write the text letter a again select the text to tw sent empty like this and dimensions to bold decrease the size up to this point like this now right click duplicate this and drag it up to this point again select the text tool and edit the text to bold and drag it up to this point now select both of these texts select eyedropper tool and give this dark blue color now press Z on the keyboard and zoom in this area Again select the pen tool and draw a shape of this board like this. Again for to remember these shapes are different from our logo. We are drawing this so that we can differentiate between this shape and the main logo. Again go to eyedropper tool and assign this blue color to this one and select this bottom body and give it this light gray color like this color. Now select both of these parts. Now cancel the stroke by clicking on this cross icon while holding down the shift key. Now you can see this blue color represents the letter A and here this blue color represents the boat. Now simply select Z on the keyboard and zoom in this area. Now we have to declare the font that we have used in our logo. So I am simply copy pasting any text. You have to select the text and change its font to TW sent empty. Here we are declaring just the two dimensions normal and bold. Now our presentation is almost ready. You can also make a presentation with the second logo like this. Now we are done with today's tutorial. I hope that you might have learned something from this tutorial. If it is so then please like, subscribe and share this video. And also share your thoughts in comment section. We will meet in the next case study. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.